Okay, hi, Inga. Um, it's really nice meeting you, and it's nice that you have time that we can talk a little bit about your um, short film, which is in the Nordic Shorts um, section here at the festival. It's called The Wish. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think it's a, it's, it's a very touching and, uh, and very personal. <laughs> I think it's a very touching and a very personal film as far as I read it in the credits. I think it's uh, maybe your personal story or maybe someone else's personal story. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about the background, how you found this, uh, this very nice um, story. Hi, yes, nice to meet you too. Um, it is a personal story. It's based on a childhood memory of visiting my father in London in 1974, actually. So I was living in Iceland with my mother. I hadn't seen him since I was a baby. And it's something I always wanted to do. And um, yes, so so um, so I, I, I did it. I, I met him, next time I met him, I was 18. So, so I didn't meet him very often, but it sort of obviously left an impact on me. And I also thought there was a story about the little girl who has the courage to, to do this, because it was kind of scary. And I wanted to, um, I want to make film with strong female uh, characters. And I felt that maybe this was once a story, even though it's my, my own story, but I just felt that it would be a good story to tell. And um, it's uh, well. I mean, this 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 girl Karen. Mm -hmm. She is. Um, she first when we first see her, she uses um, very much her imagination to uh, describe the uh, the trip to London to meet her father. She she went there with uh, her mother on the train, maybe, mm -hmm. and. Um, I really found this uh, it's very interesting that she, uh, she kind of used like a fairy tale or fantasy elements to mm -hmm. um, to describe how the trip was to her friends. How did you kind of thought about that to involve it in the in the film? Well, I thought as a child you can't you don't really want to see I don't think Children actually see reality the way we do, and I think they like embellishing it, like the way they play. They always uh, play in different roles. So I just thought it would be interesting for her to tell it as a, as a fairy tale um, to her friends instead of telling them the gritty uh, sort of details. And I thought it would be more moving for the audience to see how she would like to see it. And then it isn't quite, quite like that. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I myself never told my friend the story, actually. It was just too weird. And uh, I think I just told everyone it was a really great time. And uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So I thought that would be add an extra layer to the experience. <laughs> so was the, 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 um, the little episode in the film with, uh, with uh, the necklace and the stone, was it a, a real... Um story you also had with your father? Yes, that's about the only thing I have he gave me. And uh, yes, so I, it, that was actually the real stone he gave me in the park. He bought it from a vendor in the park in 1974. And I managed to keep it all the time. And we were going to make a replica of the stone, but it didn't quite work out. So we just used, we used the actual stone. Mm -hmm. And incidentally, the man who sells the girl the stone is my father's best friend, also an actor. So that was really weird. So we were both sort of freaking out <laughs> doing this story <laughs> about my dad and his best friend. So that was kind of nice as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where did you uh, where did you shoot? Did you did you also shoot in England or did you just uh, shoot in Iceland and pretend it? I mean, it's not really clear from the film. No, it's mostly shot in 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 London. Mm -hmm. yeah. The beginning and the end is in Iceland. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mostly shot in in, uh, in sort of southeast London. Mm -hmm. His theatre was near. That wasn't the theatre he founded. The theatre he founded is still around, but uh, it wasn't that. But it was in an old church, so that's why we used an old church. And um, I saw in the cast that I mean the the mother and uh, Karen as as a child are I think Icelandic actors. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. And uh, the father may be British from the name, I assumed. Yeah, he's Irish. So did, he's Irish, okay. So how did you how did you find them? Well, Hera, she um I've known her since she was a baby, actually, this actress. I known her well. She actually met my mum as well. Uh, my mother has died now, but Hera did meet her. And she's just a really good actress with great depth. And uh, Sam, I knew as well from before. And I knew he would have the ability to make the father sympathetic because uh, he's got such nuances. So I didn't want to make him a buddy. He was just a man obsessed with his work and just didn't have any time for children and didn't understand them. And it just, he was look, have a tunnel vision. I didn't want him to be evil or unpleasant. And I think Sam did capture that really well. I think he makes him sympathetic as like a absent-minded, clumsy father obsessed with his work. So, uh, so I, I was very happy with how they did it. And the mother wasn't overly dramatic. I think, I think she still loved him a little bit, uh, even though she was frustrated. So I think that came came across quite well mm -hmm. in her portrayal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, may I ask if you, you you're still in in touch with your father now no, as an died. adult? Because you said you you met him again when you were eighteen. No, he died when he was forty nine. Oh. Okay. He died mm -hmm. when he was very very young. Uh, mm. That was a while ago. Um, yes, he just had a heart attack. Um, mm. Yes, so I was in touch with him. I came to art school in the UK in the 80s and I did hang out with him quite a bit before he died. So I was 24 when he died. And um, we had quite a lot of interesting moments together. I could make about 10 films like that with all the weird things that happened to us. <laughs> 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 we had a long, long discussion about him and my mother and uh, our whole sort of uh, situation four days before he died. Mm -hmm. So we just managed to do it before he passed away. So so it feels like this is the one chapter of many, but I don't know if I'll do any more. Um, mm. I think maybe this is it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, and do you have uh, like, uh, what are your plans right now for the future? I mean, times are so so difficult. I mean, to make films as well. So, uh, but you have plans on on next projects, film projects, or others? Yes. Um, I'm basically I made uh, films when I was uh, a while ago, and then I felt I needed to do short films before I embark on a feature project, which is. The script is ready and the Icelandic Film Fund has supported it and the same producers has produced The Wish are producing this film called The Leap and it's actually a feature film, a romantic comedy mm. set in Iceland and London and it's got to do with fish as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> romantic comedy with fish. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have a, a television series in the pipeline for children as well uh, to do with the... Uh, the fairies and the hidden folk in Iceland. So uh, yes, we're quite busy. Mm -hmm. So when are you when are you going to to start shooting for the feature film? I don't know. I'd love to do it next autumn twenty one if possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, it's impossible to predict anything at the moment. But that would mm -hmm. be wonderful. That would be the aim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we would be really looking forward to that. So I'll make a note that we already put something in our files to ask you again in 21 or 22 okay. how your film project came along. <laughs> and of course, we, you know, we want to put it in, in the uh, selection of films we get to see for our program, maybe then in 2022. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> that would be lovely. Yeah, that would be really nice. Okay, thanks a lot. It was really nice talking to you. Thank you for your time. And yeah, well, we, we're looking forward to new projects from you in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to speak to you. And <laughs> yes, good luck at the you. festival. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. I just have a, um, we have to, just waiting a few seconds. We have to record the beginning because I made a mistake at the beginning. Yes. Your film is not in the Nordic Shorts program, I'm afraid. I was, I, I got it mixed up a bit because you're in the children's and youth film section. So yeah. I just would like to repeat the beginning. Okay. Yeah.
to do the greeting again and then uh, say, okay, your film is in this and this section and then when we can put it together and cut it, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah? is that fine with you? Okay, yeah. all right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hi Inga, hi, this is really nice hi. meeting you. Um, um, this is Nordic Film Days calling and uh, yeah, it's it's nice. Uh, we're here with Inga Lisa Middleton. She's the director of The Wish, which will be shown and is shown in our um, program for the children's and youth film section. And it's also in the short film program there. So. That's really nice that we have the opportunity to talk uh, and okay, let's start and uh, talk a little bit about the wish. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So, hmm? so, so where can we see these interviews? Well, we put it we put it online. I mean, we have some material coming up and also we just uh, decided that uh, we gonna, you know what, we are just online this year. We had to play, we planned it to uh, be in the cinemas as well, but we couldn't because we had a the lockdown here, for, first for the city and then for uh, whole Germany. They call it a light lockdown at the moment, so cinemas are not allowed to uh, show films. No. So, um, uh, and because we, we had this hybrid festival planned, for a long time, we could now just switch to the online version, oh, and um, we had just decided that we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna like um, lengthen the the online version, which uh, you know because normally we would have been uh, just from the fourth to the eighth, mm -hmm. and um, we're gonna uh, show now films until the eleventh. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. So because. Uh, I mean, we get so many people who are interested in uh, in the films. We're really overwhelmed about the support of, you know, mm -hmm. Nordic oh, really Film nice. Day fans and the audience. And um, yeah, so it's um, it's really nice. And then today, because we have asked, like, uh, of course, we have asked all the productions and world sales and stuff. And we have right now, we have like, uh, we have. We have 160 films in total in the program, right? But some of them, of course, from the retrospective, we couldn't uh, include in the online uh, streaming no. um, uh, offer because it it wasn't possible because they weren't digital. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have uh, we had 146 films, your films included, in the online program. And uh, right now we have like I think almost got responses from like almost 120 films to have them included until the 11th. So oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah so I don't, I think that maybe, I don't know whether you or the production got um, an email from my colleague from the film department and asking about whether we can show your film as well. Yes. Until the 11th. Yes. So, I just saw an email. Yeah. I was copied yeah. in an email. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So that's really great because then we can lengthen the program because people are really, we've, we got lots of requests if maybe there's an opportunity because other festivals in uh, Germany um, who did online versions as well the last couple of weeks, they also uh, kind of, you know, forwarded the program a little bit or had it on a little bit longer so people could watch it a bit longer. And people oh, are really nice. interested and we got so many good responses also from the press, you know, who were like, because of the shutdown and because the cinemas had to went, had to go into shutdown this week. Yes. So lots of newspapers and magazines and online fan scenes, they had to change, of course, again. Mm. And uh, like not, you know, having film critics for films because they are not on and not running. So yes. they had to switch again to like stream um, us you know, um, hints about streams and festivals and stuff. So that's that's really nice. And uh, yeah, it's 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 really great to see. I mean, it's our first time. It was a big effort to yes. put all this up. Oh, yeah, for the, on, yeah, but it's, you know, it, it's really worth it because we get so many good responses and, pe and people really like it. And people are, we get responses as well, you know, from people who haven't been able to watch the program in the previous years. Oh yes, so, and they can do uh, it now. Yeah, and they can do it now because it's nationwide, also. Oh, yes. So that's that's yeah. really nice, you know. And um, that's 
yeah, it's it's really nice. And they say, well, it's it's finally we can watch your program, you know. So we always wanted to, and it's yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. The film the film was in Reykjavik Film Festival. Mm -hmm. and I was then, they did one screening of each film and mm -hmm. uh, socially distanced with masks. Mm -hmm. So I think I saw two films and then I didn't really want to, but then mm -hmm. it was online and it was absolutely brilliant. So as you say, mm -hmm. people all over the country could yeah. see it and not have to worry. Mm -hmm. So uh, my family saw it on there and it was, it mm -hmm. was nice. It, it's, uh, it's a good thing. I, th I think it gets yeah. actually weirdly more exposure, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yes, yeah, that's, uh, I think so too. Yeah. And uh, of course, it doesn't. You know, you can't replace cinema. No, I, I mean, mean it's it's just, a, no. yeah, it's. I love cinema, so yeah. I would always yeah. prefer. I mean, I think it's our generation as well. Of course, we always prefer. You know, being rather in a cinema than watching it all online. I would never like watch a film on a small device. I no. can't do that. No, it's, but, but uh, maybe in the future it can be a combination of both, so more people can see things. Yeah. Sure. Because it's and really it, nice to go to cinema, go to yeah. a festival and meet your mates and, and mm. that kind of thing. I yeah. don't think that will stop, but then it allows people, like you say, from elsewhere. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, so of course. And it's, of course, you have to think about the younger generation. I mean, they, of course, they, I mean, they don't go to cinemas that often than we did. So, of course, they, they want to use, you know, all what they can. I mean, they use small devices. Okay, if they want to, it's up to them. You know, yeah. so you have to offer it, and uh, I think it's good, and I think it also gives us the opportunity for you know um, for other people and audiences to discover the festival as well. Yes. Right. So and this is yeah, I mean it's 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 new, and we have to work on yeah, of course, to to see T and C and um, talk about it later on what we have to make differently maybe next year, but. The plans are on to have it have another online version next year. You know, independently on how everything in the world and the pandemic develops, but yeah. we we I think we just we already decided to. I think it's a good plan. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. it's a really good plan. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> All right, Inga. Thanks a lot for your time. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Very nice talking to you, and I hope we'll see you in real, in reality, here at the festival with another, with the next feature film, or maybe the the children's series, because we also have a series program which is more for uh, for adults. But let's see. I mean, we could maybe also think about like series for children to show them. Okay, I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cross okay. fingers. You'll be there. Yeah, All right. Take okay. Care. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.